I chose to take the healthcare communications course because I thought it would be something different. In pharmacy school, we take a lot of therapeutic courses and chemistry courses that are very in depth. And that knowledge is very important, but when I came to the chance where I could take an elective course, I wanted to take something a little different. And the opportunity to develop, to develop communication skills is an asset, no matter what job or career, anything that you pursue. And to have it specifically tailored towards health communi healthcare communication, I thought was vital. I decided to take the class because I knew that um, learning about something different than the regular therapy classes would be really interesting. And I'm also doing a dual degree with um, the public health, and so this year I'll be starting my MPH classes. And with that, I knew that communications and healthcare is really important, especially when I'm going to be working in an interdisciplinary setting. I think one of the most effective uh, parts of this class is that it allows you to participate in projects that can make an actual impact in, in the world of uh, pharmacy, in the world of healthcare. So UNC MyChart is uh, UNC's Pa online patient chart and it currently has 150,000 users but only 42% of them have an active MyChart account. So we started, we wanted to start our pilot video by making a account activation video with visuals. My group chose to work with a local startup company based out of NC State University and they were working on a project that allowed for safe file transfers. Um, and this we were working on helping to make sure that their project was HIPAA compliant, meaning that the patient information that was being transferred between computers was protected and safe. And so we worked on a project to help educate their staff members on what it meant, to, what HIPAA was, why patient information was important to be kept securely and safely. And through our education efforts, they were better able to go out into the community speak educatedly to the providers and the people that they were trying to sell their product to and their efforts were more effective at implementing this really unique way of sh sharing patient files in those clinic settings. We had to come up with like a new innovative way of communicating in healthcare. So our group decided to come up with a website for recent grads um, called clinicalpearls.com. So basically it was a chance for recent grads to stay in touch with each other as well as learn from each other once they start their residency or fellowship or just working in general. And so they could like bounce off questions on with each other, kind of like how we would normally in school, but after graduation everyone goes their separate ways. So it's just a way to like stay in touch and then as well as to learn about clinical pearls that people learn about on the job. We looked at a disease which might be considered an orphan disease. Um, LAM, L A M. Lympho angio Lyomyomatosis. And I didn't realize at the time the reason we were looking at it was a dear friend and a classmate had the disease. The project started small, word of mouth social media campaign, the balloon challenge. The fact that our project was not just an idea, but was an actual disease state with a patient going through the process from correct diagnosis to treatment treatment that involved that kind of a challenge to now making progress with remission and a better outlook than she had before. That's the kind of thing we did in 811, and that is amazing. To see where we fit in the world of pharmacy, to see that we can have a positive impact and a positive outcome on patients. Our project, happily, has now been picked up by the Lamb Foundation, if we can open the eyes of providers around the world about this disease state and save women from suffering with Lamb, then we will have exceeded our wildest expectations. We will not only have found a place in pharmacy, but made it better. And I think that's the whole goal of anybody in medicine. Can we leave these people in this place better than we found it?